jewelry for Christmas. Five families in Pinal are hoping, hoping to get food, clothing, and at least one electronic device to share across 14 young children to assist in homeschooling come January. The children are all cousins and were taught by one aunt using her phone, but that stopped when it broke in November. Their mother tells reporter Cindy Ragabartika saying, while the children's education is their highest priority, if devices and stationery may be too much to ask for, they would welcome food and toys, which may bring some joy over the holidays. So many playing in the rain or bathing from a barrel are either distant memories or only something you've heard about from the long time days. But it's very much the current lifestyle enjoyed by this bunch of children along Platonic Trace, Rochard Road, Pinal. These 14 cousins live in five homes located close to each other. And while filled with children's laughter, these houses are void of almost every modern comfort. I live under really bad conditions. No running water, no toilet and baths no current at the moment basically i have no stove i have no fridge i have just a washing machine at the time and no windows no doors and inside is just basically a blocked up area this mother of four story is hardly different to that of her sisters-in-law life was always a bit difficult but they say it got worse during the pandemic when their husbands' various construction and gardening jobs yielded little to no income. To say, well, they have a permanent job or income coming in, it had. I tell them it real hard. Right now, my house have nothing. My house have no groceries. My children have nothing for the Christmas. I, my birthday is Christmas Eve day, and I don't know. But I tell them I ask them for help, not only on my own behalf, but all the children here. 44-year-old Camelia Sotio is considered a guardian angel over the children of Platonic Trace. Her house is one of three to have electricity and the only one to have an internet connection. And for months, she used her cell phone to receive and teach all 14 children whose ages range between 3 and 12 years old. The teachers then will send the work on the phone for me. Then I will write it on the board whatever subject they have and then they will do it in the books some of them will get pamphlets from the school so i will just guide them in doing the work that routine ended in november when her phone fell and broke but for the time it lasted they guarded at this table from 8 a.m to 2 p.m most days and for some of them it was all the schooling they got i have andrea papers and the little papers that anika did that's all Nando here, he is very bright and he is doing his work not online but by booklets. But it's hard without the internet, without current. I'm using candle right now because the shell of asthma and she can't take the flambo smoke. That is the reason why I'm using the candle light instead of the flambo or shade lamp. These mothers say they've battled empty kitchens and dirty clothes before. And while they would welcome donations for both, their priority is the children's education and would be grateful to have at least one electronic device gifted so that their at-home teacher could continue her voluntary tutoring when virtual school resumes in two weeks' time. They have a shutter over their head. That's the most important thing for the Christmas time. But cheer, goodwill, and happiness for the Christmas for the children. And the smile on the face, they could give them toys or food stuff, books, especially stationaries for school next year because right now I'm not working anywhere to support them and I really like what I'm doing with them and I want to continue on the new year start. If you would like to assist these families, they can be contacted at 267-8429. Cindy Ragubatika Singh, TV6 News. Well, you know the saying, do good, feel good. If you need that number again, it's 267-8429. Well, at a time when not...